Don't settle for average. Dream with a plan. Today we celebrate the achievements of our students having successfully completed secondary school. Therefore, we kindly remind you to silence your cell phones and avoid all possible distractions. Please stand for the procession of our graduates into the auditorium.
the great Steve Jobs once said, don't settle for average. The good book tells us in James chapter 1 verse 12, Blessed is the man who remains steadfast on the trial. For when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. And now I invite each of you to stand as we invite Pastor Jamie Gordon to invite God's presence in this morning's proceedings. Good morning, everybody. Indeed, it's such a, a wonderful day thus far. Before I pray, I just want to observe that the, the colors for the graduation to me says a lot, you know, white and gold. And when we think of the color white, we think of purity. And when we think of gold, we think of excellence. And this morning, as we commit the ceremony to God, we pray that the ceremony will be nothing short of pure excellence. Let's bow our heads as we pray. Father God, this morning, we thank you for being our creator. We thank you for the ability to experience a moment of reward for labors. We thank you, God, for every graduand. We thank you for the journey that you took them through for the past five years. Coming from COVID, many setbacks. We thank you, God, that we can now see the light at the end of the tunnel. Today, Father, I pray that this ceremony will inspire them. As you're about to plunge into the wider pool, of life we don't know what lies around the corner but today we are reminded that the same god that started them on their way indeed will be with them into the unknown future father they are young impressionable full of life potential the entire life looms ahead of them but this morning we pray that you would set a hedge a mark you would cover every single one of them we pray god that their lives will be successful we pray that they will take heed and always be mindful of the words of the wise man solomon that the fear of God is the beginning of all wisdom. We pray, Father, that you would protect them from the influences of the world. We pray that in their hearts and minds they would understand that wherever they go and whatsoever they do, they are simply ambassadors of God. We thank you, God, for all the teachers and staff who played a pivotal role in uh, this ceremony that we are experiencing here today. We pray that you would keep the teachers strong. May you renew their youth, their vigor, even their vitality. We also place the management of the school into your hands. We pray that you would give them the wisdom and the counsel that they so stand in need of. We pray for every parent, every guardian who also made their sacrifices and gave efforts to God. We pray that today would be a reminder that behind every dark cloud, indeed, there is a silver lining. But we pray, God, that as the future address and all the other messages will be shared today, I pray that we all will be reminded that despite the challenges of life, if we press on, and if we don't grow weary in well-doing, indeed, we are going to reap very soon. So into your hands, we hand over this ceremony to you, the master of ceremonies and the master of our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Gordon. We ask you to remain standing as we pay homage to our country. Dania Coburn will now lead us in the national anthem. Please stand in the appropriate manner. Pleasant good morning to everyone. As one people will fall. 
this time we invite Jomoni Roberts to read from the Word of God. The scripture reading is taken from Proverbs chapter 16, verses 2, 3, and 9. All the ways of a man are pure in his own eyes, but the Lord waits the spirits. Commit your works to the Lord, and your thoughts will be established. A man's heart plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. Here is the end of the scripture. You may be seated. Pastor Jamie Gordon, Father Roland Mark, and other ministers of religion, District Education Officer Mr. Peter Ridges, and other members of the district team and Ministry of Education officials, Ms. Christine Smith, Past School Attendance Officer, Mrs. Vashti Stanislaus Williams, Past Principal of the Grenville Secondary School, Ms. Janelle Rubin, Past Pupil, Featured Speaker for today's exercise. Mrs. Hannah St. Paul, past pupil and at present senior community health nurse with responsibility for the immunization program. Ms. Janessa Charles, coordinator for standards and planning at National Training Agency. Ms. Shemaine Joseph, past pupil and medical student at the St. George's University. Dr. Stephen Niles, past teacher and at present medical practitioner attached to the General Hospital. Mr. Kendall Smith, past pupil and at present acting inspector attached to the Criminal Records Office, special invitees, parents, staff, students, graduates, and well wishers, a heartfelt welcome to each and every one of you to our 2023 graduation ceremony. It is indeed an honor to be here at this auspicious occasion to celebrate the completion of a milestone with you, the students of the graduating class of 2023. Standing here today, you are all living testimonies of a dream that became reality. Remember, a dream without a plan is just a wish, Catherine Patterson. It was Dwight Eisenhower who said, plans are nothing, planning is everything. Then after you've planned your work, every day you work your plan until the dream is realized. The efforts you have placed towards the successful completion of this milestone is valuable, but only a mere fraction of the grit, determination, and zest you will need to complete the next stage of this journey. During this ceremony, we encourage you to express your pride by applauding and cheering. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our 37th annual graduation ceremony. We are proud to have 29 females and 28 males in this class of 2023 who have satisfactorily completed their tenure at this noble institution. The graduating class of 2023 will now bless our hearts with a special rendition of music by Miley Cyrus entitled, The Client.
see it That dream I'm dreaming But there's a voice inside my head Saying you'll never reach it Every step I'm taking Every move I make Feels lost with no directions My faith is shaking But I
That was indeed some lovely singing, ain't it? So let's give them another round of applause, man. That's right. At this moment, we will call on a woman who have embodied the life of the Grenville Secondary School, teaching for the last 40 years, serving as teacher, head of department, vice principal, principal, and has a bachelor's degree in education, leadership, and management. She has been attached to the school when it was only two weeks old. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my esteemed pleasure to invite to the podium Miss Denise Roberts. Pastor Jamie Gordon, Father Roland Mark, and other members of the of Ministers of Religion. I take that over. Pastor Jamie Gordon, Father Roland Mark, and other Ministers of Religion. District Education Officer, Mr. Peter Regis, and other members of the district team and Ministry of Education officials. Ms. Kristen Smith, Past School Attendance Officer. This is Vashti Stanislaus Williams, past principal of Grenville Secondary. Ms. Janil Rubin, past pupil and feature speaker for today's exercise. This is Hannah St. Paul, past pupil and at present senior community health nurse with responsibility for the immunization program, Ministry of Health. Ms. Janesta Charles, coordinator for standards and planning at the National Training Agency. Ms. Charmaine Joseph, past pupil and medical student of the St. George's University. Dr. Stevon Niles, past teacher and at present medical practitioner attached to the General Hospital. Mr. Kendall Smith, past pupil and at present acting inspector attached to the Criminal Records Office. Other principals in the district, special invitees, parents, students, graduates, well wishes, pleasant good morning. Graduates, ladies and gentlemen, focusing on the theme for today's 37th graduation exercise. Don't settle for average, dream with a plan. I present to you reflections of Grenville Secondary for 2022-2023. Don't settle for average. Dream with a plan. It is with honor, pride, and humility that I reflect on the past academic year, as I said before, 2022-2023 at the Grenville Secondary. We did not settle. We had a dream, a plan to restore some of the things that were once no, we were once known for. And today, I am happy to report that despite the challenges faced, we were able to realize some of those dreams. On September 5th, 2022, we welcomed 87 new entrants at the Form 1 level. Though we were not able to have the usual orientation exercise for them due to major repairs being done on the school at the time, this did not daunt their spirits or ours. This was because repairs were done on the school and though that happened, they were an eager bunch ready to have their dreams become a reality through the GSS experience. This past year, our teaching staff was enhanced with the addition of two trainees, Ms. Erica Sincere and Mr. Sharik Felix. Welcome and thank you for responding to the call of duty. 
Special thanks also to my very supportive management team who comprised of Mr. Anselm Charles, Mr. Karim Chitterman, Mr. Jason Mark, Mr. Carlton George, Ms. Debbie Lee John, Ms. Carol Phillip, and Mrs. Leslie Ann Peters. You have been a pillar of support. May God continue to bless you immensely. However, I must single out Mrs. Leslie Ann Peters. Your unwavering support to me in the execution of my duties cannot go unnoticed. For this, I say a big thank you. <laughs> to the rest of the teaching staff, your passion and your willingness to go above and beyond is remarkable. Thank you for all you did throughout the year. Members of the ancillary staff, Security, day and night. Talk shop, cooks, librarian. We applaud you for your hard work and dedication during this year. Your care, concern, and love shown for our boys and girls was exceptional. It was not without its challenges, but with your dedication to service, we made it. Dr. Kalam, president, former president of India said, you have to dream before your dreams can become true. It was one of those dreams to again perform at this, well at the CSEC exams. And this we did as we realized a 79% pass rate at the 2022 exams, having 10 subject areas registering 100% pass rate. At Grenville Secondary, we pride ourselves that we have one of the best technical department on island, if not the best. This department had all of the six subject areas recording 100% pass rate. And it is in this vein that we are proud to recognize Ms. Rishana Henry, who placed in the top 10 for the region in textile, clothing, and fashion. This is the second time in three years that this department is celebrating such regional achievement. With the return to school to, of school to normalcy, we gladly embraced the opportunity to participate in every competition that was available for our boys and girls. And so we found ourselves competing in every sporting discipline. And boy, did we show off our skills. In football, our teams gave a good account and must be commended as they were able to make it to the quarterfinals of the group round. And under the guidance of coach Aurelio Dick Braffitt and teachers Lishon Charles and Dane Williams, they performed excellent. In that tournament, our very own Sean Shakespeare Williams, please stand, Sean, scored 15 goals, and he must be applauded for that. Thank you very much, Sean. We went on to cricket, and it was my dream and passion to have this school back in the spotlight re-cricket. And so, I recruited players, lobbied with past pupils, Mr. Garvel Walker and Fabian St. Louis as coaches, and enlisted Mr. Akel Bridgman, teacher, and so began the birth of a cricket team that went all the way to the finals, something we did not do in years. We saw sterling performances from our boys, resulting in a few of them representing at the parish and the national level. We had two students at the under-15 level, Jeon Henry, who captained the national under-15 team in St. Lucia in the 2022 Winlot Inc. under-15 tournament, and Jelani George. We had Ronel Walker at the under-19 level, and he represented Team Grenada in Dominica as they participated in the Winlot 2022 Windward Islands Under-19 Tournament. 
a testimony of not settling for average. GSS has always been a force to reckon with in the discipline of basketball. And our young male and female ballers ensured that they maintained the, that legacy. Though most of the members were first time players, they performed as professionals on game days, thereby bringing their teams all the way to the playoff round and capturing the fourth place prize in the male division and second place in the female division with basketball pride. <laughs> Mr. Bernard Coach, and I salute from the graduating class, Marvin, Keldon, Francis, and Shinik. You may stand and take a ball. <laughs> Continuing in the vein of tradition, and with persistence, passion, and pride, Miss Patricia Noel led her squad of netballers to another successful year. We were able to cop the junior or B division of the D's Sports Shop Intersecondary Netball Tournament. This resulted in having four of our girls making it to national trials and three making it onto the team, which placed second in Dominica at the regional tournament. <laughs> that team was captained by our very own Zania Collins, a Form 4 student. Our students on the team, other students on the team were Antonia Lewis and Rishana Francis. In February, we were able to stage another successful sports with the aid of our past pupils and teachers at home and abroad. We thank you for your continued support. To our premium sponsors, Grenada Bottling, Superb Distributors, Spice and Retreaders, we truly appreciate and thank you. We look forward to your continued support. We saw the return of our match pass through the town of Grenville after an absence of four years, a spectacle that was well appreciated by the public. We can assure you that we will be back again next year as we celebrate 40 bigger and better. <laughs> the return of Intercall saw us representing the orange and black in style. Though our team was very small, the boys and girls gave a good account of themselves, and at the end of the three-day games, we came away with a gold medal in the javelin for junior girls, and in the person of Kedona Bernard, and a bronze medal in the 3,000 meters meal in the person of Joshua Cadet. We promise you it will be better in 2024. It was Les Brown who said that without a solid, realistic, and detailed plan, the goal is nothing more than a pipe dream. And without the commitment to follow through on that plan and put forth the necessary effort, the dream is nothing more than a good intention. And so we take those words to heart. This year, we saw the drum go under the leadership of Mr. Lishon Charles, trainees, Sharik Felix and Tyree Douglas, along with other supportive past pupils, being able to showcase their achievements at our sports meet and several other sports meet within the parish. Here I recognize from the graduating class, Dania Coburn, Tara Bob, Carly Julian, Kaylin Harris, Simeon Persu, Nazim Ramdi. Thank you for your contributions, stakeholders. We are still in the process looking for funding for more drums as members of the group far surpass the drums we have available. Help us to realize that dream of having the largest and best playing band in the land. Last year, I reported that we had a large recruitment of the Cadet Corps. And due to the large number of recruits, the possibility was looked at to give Granville Secondary its own company. I am happy to report that Mr. Miguel Vincent is now assigned to us 
and the dream of having our own company will become a reality in September 2023. In the meantime, we continue to participate and be part of the district body and training for same is being held at the SAS grounds. Today, I salute and recognize member of the Cadet Corps from the graduating class, Mr. Zoid Jones, for his hard work and dedication. The 4-H Club, though small, continues to be active and as part of our development plan to enhance our learning environment, they were engaged in beautification of the school grounds through the planting of various ornamental flowers. And for this, we thank them. Other achievements. Additionally, the school participated in the first round of the Grenada Food and Nutrition Council Quiz, where they placed second in that round. However, we were not able to go on to the finals. We commend Ms. Trisha Noel for working along with the team and recognize Rihanna Thomas of the graduating class for her contribution to that team. <laughs> this year too, we saw the resumption of the Girl Guides and Rangers under the watchful eye of Ms. Carol Phillip, Ms. Jenna Augustine, and Mrs. Leslie Ann Peters. Though not uniformed yet, they are here today performing official duties. Let's put our hands and give them a round of applause. We also saw some of our girls participating in the Girls in ITT, ICT program this year, and we were happy for that. And they were under the tutelage of Mr. LeSean Charles and Mr. Dane Williams. These are just some of our highlights for this year, as I said. As we move into the 40th year, we trust God that we will continue to raise this institution to greater heights, that we will settle for nothing but the best, and to continue to dream with a plan. Today, as we celebrate our accomplishments, it would be wise of us to recognize our past individuals past principals, teachers, parents, guardians, and past students. Our feeder schools in the district, Ministry of Education and all other stakeholders for your contribution towards this journey. If we are wise, we acknowledge and express gratitude for the support we received along the way and go forth, focus on becoming who we are meant to be new beginnings, challenges, and rewards. All who go forward with enthusiasm and determination, the process of transformation continues. Now to focus on the graduating class of 2023. Graduation exercise like ours make endings and beginnings excitement, anxiety, and all other mixed emotions that we can think of. Ending of your life as a secondary student, beginning the life of a college student or employee, being excited to be free from the strict rules of what to wear and not to wear, thinking of how to keep your hair, the pressures of assignment, and feeling anxious as you do not know what awaits you. To you, I say, do not be afraid, for the Lord God will take care of you. Put him first in all your plans, dreams, and aspirations. For he says in Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. Over the past five years, graduates, you have together worked and studied, practiced and played, grown in many ways. You embodied our motto, together we build in love. 
We applaud your growth as young men and women. Whatever path your future takes, it is my hope, our hope at Grenville Secondary, that you will look back on your years here at GSS as having prepared you to meet and deal with the challenges that life prevents. Let no one tell you otherwise. You are unique and special. Your accomplishments have been significant despite the challenges you faced on this journey. With work to rule and COVID-19 being some of the major ones, you have taken your education seriously, which can be evidenced by your commitment academically and your participation in extracurricular activities. I urge you to continue to strive diligently towards the achievement of excellence in the moral, academic, and physical discipline. Words of your school pledge. Do not settle for average. Dream with a plan. Congratulations. This past 10 months have been hectic for you. I thank the staff of Grenville Secondary, parents and guardians for a job well done in soundly preparing our graduates to continue on their journeys. Please note that life is a series of new prospects, new hopes and changes. Graduates, as you exit the walls of this institution, and enter the next phase of your lives, please take into consideration these things. Make every moment count. Dream it, do it. The decisions you make in life may not always be popular ones or the right ones. With that in mind, I leave you with the words of Denzel Washington. Don't be afraid to fail big to dream big, do not settle for average, dream with a plan. Like you, I make my exit to another phase of my life. Thank you for being part of this journey. God bless you, God bless GSS, and may you have an enjoyable graduation. Thank you, Ms. Dennis Roberts, our principal. Gina Rubin is a former student of the Grenville Secondary School who continues to always seek further education. She holds a Bachelor of Science degree in International Business from St. George's University. And while at SGU, she was a member of the Business Students Association, BSA, and the Caribbean Students Association, CASA. She's the holder of a diploma in television production from the Caribbean Media Institute in Jamaica. Added to this, she recently completed a certificate in project management with the University of the West Indies and Tiga campus. Apart from her educational advancement, Janelle is also engaged in building herself as a public speaker and confident communicator. She has been a member of the Spice Isle Toastmasters Club for the past four years and is the president-elect to take office on July 1st, 2023. She previously held the position of Vice President of Education and Vice President of the Public Relations. She is currently the communication specialist with the Climate Resilient Water Sector in Grenada, G. Cruz, whose objective is to build climate resilience within the water sector in Grenada. Janelle's life mantra is, success comes in small packages. Appreciate where you have reached, but never settle for too long. To deliver this year's feature address, we now invite Ms. Janelle Rubin.
Pastor Jamie Gordon, Father Roland Mark, and other ministers of religion. District Education Officer, Mr. Peter Regis, and other members of the district team and Ministry of Education officials. Ms. Christine Smith, past school attendance officer. Mrs. Vashti Stanislaus Williams, past principal. Mrs. Hannah St. Paul, past principal and at present senior community health nurse with responsibility for the immunization program. Ms. Janesta Charles, Coordinator for Standards and Planning at the NTA. Ms. Charmaine Joseph, past principal and medical student at the St. George's University. Dr. Stephen Niles, past teacher and at present a medical practitioner attached to the General Hospital. Mr. Kendall Smith, past pupil and at present acting inspector attached to the Criminal Records Office. Special invitees, present students, graduates, well-wishers, a pleasant good morning, everyone. A pleasant good morning, everyone. Good morning. Okay, that's good. Graduates, graduates, I speak to you first and foremost. Are you ready for the next step of your journey? Do you find a song on Vince? <laughs> Graduates, are you ready for the next step of your journey? Yes. It's better. Have you even given thought about what is going to take place or what is going to happen from today on out? I don't think you all are convinced. I ask you these two questions and I want you to ponder on it for a little bit. And by the end of my delivery, I hope to leave you with some tips that lead to answering them. Today is indeed a momentous occasion in your life. You conquered the challenges, the obstacles presented before you during the last five years at this noble institution. And guess what? You have made it. Won't you agree? Yes. Okay. You deserve to be emulated for completing this next step in your educational journey. Five years of secondary school was not easy, right? Right? It had its struggles, late nights, lots of assignments, extracurricular activities, somewhat, COVID, work to rule, and the list can go on and on and on. But graduates, you have been surrounded by a team of individuals within these walls who have held, the, held your hand, seen your strides, and urged you at every step of your achievement, year after year, to push on. Here, I pause to say thank you to the principal and staff of GSS, along with your support structure, for your unwavering support of the 2023 graduating class. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> to the parents, your words of encouragement and motivation, comfort in arms when the students fell down, was all that was needed to reignite that spark to get them going forward. And for this, you two parents, guardians, must be commended. Gradients, I want you to say this with me, and I want you to say it with force, with vigor, with oomph, as we say. I have made it. I have made it. Come on, so put a little oomph in the I have made it. I have made it. That's better. We have made it. We have made it. We will continue to push towards our goal. We will continue to push towards our goal. Yes, you have crossed the first huddle in the race towards intellectual achievement. You may have slowed along the route due to a pulled muscle, fatigue, lack of willpower to proceed, but guess what? You have made it. It is at this juncture in your life you have to begin to take charge of the next step of your journey. Are you ready for that next step 
of your journey. I hope there's some who convinced that I will finish. It is with this in mind that today's graduation theme is saying to you, don't settle for average, dream with a plan. As you prepare to go out, reminisce for a moment on the memorable times of your secondary school life. If you were part of the school team that succeeded in school activities, be it academic, academic or on the sports level, I say kudos to you. You have left your mark in the lives of many students of the Grenville Secondary, your siblings and even your parents and guardians. What about the silly moments among classmates? Maybe beatboxing, singing, playing pranks, among several others. Established bonds that will never be broken, for you will always remain the class of 2023. Keep the link alive, stay in touch often, form a WhatsApp group if you have to, and assist each other and even laugh about your school days when you, are the, when you are five, ten years from now. This institution has shown you love, has shown you what working together can help you achieve. Take a page from every lesson that was taught to you for the last five years and replicate it in your life. Don't settle for average, dream with a plan. It was Benjamin Franklin who stated, an investment in knowledge always pays the best interest. As a past student myself of this noble institution, I am proud of the continued accomplishments made by my school whenever I see it taking part in events. This institution has laid the foundation and molded me into the individual standing before you today. From my short bio, you will realize that I have continually sought to empower myself at all levels in order to achieve my goal. My CXC business subjects and involvement in junior achievement and seed program have assisted me in attaining my BSc in international business. My interest in foreign languages, specific French, has led me to pursuing and passing one of the DELF level exams and the list can go on and on. I ventured into the field of media, working at two of the television stations on island for almost a decade. And though this was not an area that I intended to be in originally, the exposure and experience received motivated me towards educational attainment. I saw it as an opportunity to bring myself one step closer towards my goal. Today, I am currently the communication specialist with the Climate Resilient Water Sector in Grenada G Cruise Project. And the experience of working with both locals and foreign nationals fits squarely into my BSc in International Business. That field of study did not only teach me the business side of things from an international lens, but also international human resource management, marketing, law, accounting, etc. The desire to learn more by being involved in school groups brought further exposure and rewards. Like you, graduates, my friends and I, some of whom are now your teachers and sitting within the walls of Grenville Secondary School, as we say the class of XXX or the class of 2001 for my fellow graduates, we all went through tough times. We built great friendships that still exists today. But we knew our teachers, like Ms. Roberts, like Mrs. Stanislaus, and others, were molding us to be great individuals who continue to this day to make indelible marks both in Grenada and outside. For almost four decades, for more than four decades, this noble institution has produced outstanding and remarkable men and women who are making their strides in this world. I ask you, class of 2003, what mark do you want to live in this world? 2023, thank you, Suyo. Your time here at this institution, the education you have obtained, 
should not be viewed as a waste. View it as a stepping stone, an opportunity to move one step towards the dream of being maybe a professional in either the medical, engineering, technological, business, or education fields, or even a combination of both. I reiterate, don't settle for average. Dream with a plan. As you leave this noble institution, think about where you want to go. Where do you want your future self to be in the next five or maybe 20 years from now? Do you want to achieve the highest educational achievement of a doctorate in your specific field? Do you want to be an owner of a niche business headquartered in Grenada with multiple branches in other regional and international countries? Whatever it is, start thinking and preparing yourself now if you have not yet done so. Organizational psychologist Benjamin Harty, who is known as the world's leading expert on the application of future self-science, said, and I quote, Begin to write yourself in a letter of what you want to be or grow into. Make your vision bold and clear. Unquote. He urges in his book, Be the Future Self Now, that you should do this exercise fortnightly or monthly. Why? Because your vision as you write becomes clearer and it allows you to take a deeper look into yourself. As Hardy stated, the quality of the connection you make with your future self now determines the quality of life, of life and behavior that you will start now to achieve where you want to go. So, my fellow graduates, don't settle for average. Dream with a plan. Your journey has just begun. Your life beyond the clouds is just beginning. I urge you to hold on. Hold on to the opportunities that would lead you to achieving your future career goals. You have done your respective CXC exams and the outcome you will reap in the coming weeks to months. Many of you will be in a celebrati celebratory mood while others may be questioning, I could have done better. But whichever way it is, my fellow graduates, do not see it as the end of your educational career. Do not just give up, but see it as a motivation for you to go forward, to push you forward, to develop yourself much more and to do better. And here, parents, I want to appeal to you to comfort your children in these times. Many of us would have gone through our different examinations and ensured the struggles, but I urge you to be, to applaud your children for they have made it for the last five years. Reward them no matter the results and encourage them to push forward. For at the end of the day, you will want to say, that is my child. I am proud of his or her accomplishments. As I begin to wind up my speech, graduates, I leave you with these five points. One, do you know where you want to go from here? If you do, kudos, congratulations. But ensure that you have several backup plans in place. Not a plan A, if not plan B if A drops, but plan C, D, E, and the list goes on. So in the event that your original plan does not come true, you can fall back on the other plans. Okay, graduates? I also encourage you to do a self-analysis. What are my strengths? What are my weaknesses? What are the opportunities that lie ahead of me? And what are the threats? I'm speaking principles of business somewhat, right, my POB students? All right, good. This would help you identify and understand yourself as individuals. Do I plan to go to college or university straight away? 
then what will I do there? What scholarship opportunities are presently available for the career goals that I wish to pursue? Can my parents afford tertiary education or do I have to search for a job and work out maybe a three to five year savings plan that would allow me to earn enough money so that I can cover my first and second year of university or college life? If I wish to enter the job market, I may need to work on my CV and my interest letter. Where can I get support? Point number two. Think of a skill. It could be something you like to do or just want to do. Having a skill can open numerous doorways for you. Formal education is good, excellent, but having a skill to complement it is even better. I urge you graduates to pick up a skill. Take advantage of the various training opportunities, be it free or even at a cost to which you can afford. The job market, I realize, do not only look for formal education, but they also look for persons with some form of skill. My third point. While you explore and ponder upon which skill set you wish to adopt, ask yourself, how can I use that skill set to earn a living? How does that skill set match up to my CXC subjects that I have in hand now? Is the skill one in high demand? After certification, where can I use it? Another point I want to implore upon you, upon you is to never be afraid of job rejections. If you decide to venture into the world of work, be prepared. Some doors will open, some doors will close. But I urge you to engage in follow-up calls after dropping off your application letters, to always present yourself in a professional manner and to always be respectful whenever you are going to seek employment or even whenever you're going to do anything. As Malala Yusuf said, don't be afraid. If you are afraid, you can't move forward. And my final point to you today, graduates, be careful of what you post on social media. It can affect you in the future. Refrain from profanity, mudslinging, and sharing videos that can tarnish the reputation of others and even yourself. Remember, as the famous saying goes, what goes around comes around. Not everything needs to be on social media. My fellow graduates, class of 2023, when you leave here today as graduates of the Grenville Secondary School, celebrate, and I mean celebrate your achievements. For despite health, financial, social, and other struggles, you made it through completing secondary school. But while you celebrate and you go forward in life, Always remember to give back to this noble institution. Always find some way of offering support, be it in graduation ceremonies, maybe speaking on the career of professional days, or just being there to offer to the principal and staff, I am a resource person. I am free to give my service in whichever way possible. Embolden yourself to say, I am a proud student of this noble institution. I was at Grenville Secondary School. I am proud of you. As Nora Efron puts it, your education is a dress rehearsal for a life that is yours to lead. Your education is a dress rehearsal for a life that is yours to lead. So graduates, as I leave you today, are you ready for the next leg of your journey? Yes, Miss. Are you convinced that you are ready? Yes, Miss. Great. Congratulations again, graduates, and I wish you best of luck. Remember, never settle for average. Dream with a plan. Thank you.
Thank you, Ms. Rubin. To begin the distribution of diplomas, we invite Mr. Peter Regis, the Education Officer for District 3, to the podium to begin. Alexander, Jardine Julian, Kelsey Regis. Alina Samuel. Carly Julian. Rihanna Thomas. Naomi Perrot. Adoni Alexander. Denisha Henry. I think we could make more noise when the graduates come down, man. Yeah, I'll sound like I'm sleeping. Shania McIntosh. Ashel Charles. Shadina Peters. Jinik Alexander. Rashida Bridgman. Coburn. 
Amanda Marcel. Serafina Clark. Nikira Lewis. <laughs> Salisha Courtney. Mia Charles. <laughs> Tecora McIntosh. Shanique Michelle. Trisha Williams. Teresa Collier. And Josanna Lewis. Thank Mr. Philip Regis. Peter Regis, sorry. My apologies. Mrs. Hannah St. Paul is a graduate of the Granville Secondary School, class of 1991. She's a certified and registered nurse and midwife holding a bachelor's degree in public health, nursing, with honors. Mrs. St. Paul has served in the capacity of district nurse within the St. David Health District for nine years. As a community health nurse in charge of the St. Patrick Health District for three years. As a hospital administrator for the Princess Alice Hospital for two years. And a senior community health nurse with responsibility for immunization for two years. Acted as permanent secretary within the Ministry of Health with responsibility for hospital and community health services for two years. Currently, she is a senior community health nurse within the Ministry of Health, Wellness, and Religious Affairs and manager of the National Immunization Program within the Ministry of Health. Join me in welcoming Mrs. Hannah St. Paul to continue the distribution of the program. Zai Joseph. Zai. 
Dimitri Panchu. Isabel Francis. <laughs> Elijah Dumont. <laughs> Kimar Hastik. Kaylan Harris <laughs> Kieran Patrick Simeon Plasu Shima Roberts Shem Bob Tishan Charles Jason McLeod Jamani Roberts. Dishon Lewis. Jude Carriman. Jaron Vincent <laughs> Zoid Jones Marvin Simon. <laughs> Tiffon Felix. Ron Klein. Nassim Ramdeen. Jamal Sadiq.
Celestine. Samuel Peters. Sean Williams. Keldon Belfon. Francis Junior Dunham. And Lonel Celestine. Thank you, Mrs. St. Paul. Graduates, today, as you hold your diplomas in your hands, I want to remind you of the immense power they represent. These pieces of paper are not mere symbols of completion. They embody your hard work, dedication, and the limitless potential that resides within each of you. It's easy to let these diplomas gather dust, to tuck them away on a shelf and forget the transformative journey that led you here. But I implore you not to let that happen. Do not let your accomplishments fade into the background of your lives. Instead, Use them as a catalyst, a springboard to land, launch yourselves into a future brimming with purpose and possibility. And remember the words of the great mighty Sparrow. Education is a foundation. You will be recognized anywhere you go. Have your certificate to show. Dr. Stephon Niles was born and raised in Grenville, St. Andrew. He attended the St. Andrews Methodist School and Presentation Brothers College. Later, he completed an associate degree in natural science with distinction at the T.A. Marichal Community College. In that same year, he became a teacher here at Grenville Secondary School, where he proudly served for three years, then started a new chapter in his life in Cuba, where he completed his medical training. Currently, he is the house officer of the orthopedics department at the General Hospital. To confer graduate status, we gladly invite Dr. Stephen Niles to the podium. I think you can safely say that protocol has already been established by our lovely guests, especially by the lovely voice of Ms. Janelle Rubin. So I would like to say a pleasant good morning to everyone. Thanks for the lovely introduction, Ms. Neela. She almost said my, said my entire speech. Because <laughs> my entire speech, well, part of my speech, is about my life. As Ms. Neela said, my name is Dr. Stephen Niles, yes. And I'm simply honored and humbled to be in the presence of our future prime ministers, engineers, 
managers, commercial and locally owned business owners, regional, internationally, etc. Because you are the future. Yes, you hear Dr. Stebon Niles. Big doctor. He probably get through his whole life. But in fact, I was just born right here in Princess Alice Hospital, Grenville, St. Andrews. Raised right here. First in Gladstone Road, then Cook Hill Road, then Rivulet Lane. I went to the St. Andrews Methodist School. Mr. Nicholas was just asking me, you went to St. Andrews Methodist School? Yes, <laughs> I did. And yes, you can call me an OGM. Yes, <laughs> if you insist. I also went to the Presentation Brothers College Secondary school day after. On the after the first day, Hurricane Ivan passed. I don't think you guys probably remember Hurricane Ivan. <laughs> huh? Hurricane Ivan had the last say. I entered, I continued my secondary school education several months after Hurricane Ivan hit. I completed 10 CXC subjects. I failed one. Guess which one? English. <laughs> That's right, English. Mm -hmm. I was given a chance to start college, Tam CC, regardless, under the condition that I repeat the English exam, which I did. And I passed. I completed TAM CC with an associate's degree in natural sciences. So that's chemistry, biology, not physics, mathematics. And I did so graduating with honors. In that same year, as Ms. Neela rightly said, I was offered a position at the Grenville Secondary School as a teacher and I did so probably for three years imagine that I love Grenville Secondary School I would say Grenville Secondary School I would say broke me out in life we had a culture and we still do in Grenville Secondary School a learning culture a togetherness here we will take a student who came from primary school not being able to write their name properly up to form five to complete five plus subjects. Now that is remarkable. And I think remarkable is, is still not even a word to describe that. Hats off to you teachers. But then, before I started my chapter in Cuba, a student just, that same year, student just said, Mr. Niles, you're a good teacher, you're great, I love you, but here, yeah, not for you. I don't mean that in a bad way, but here yeah, you just to advance. And Mr. Son used to say, to advance. <laughs> yeah. So I started my new chapter of my life in Cuba, where I completed my medical training for seven long years. The first time I came back from Cuba, I arrived at the airport and 
when I came out through customs, everything, my mom, I saw my mom, I was like, mom, mommy. Mom passed me straight. I said, mommy, <laughs> your son. She said, Israel? No, 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 that's not you. I lost so much weight because of the food and getting used to the culture and getting used to the new environment. So when I went back, I decided to live off campus. So within those years, I was in Cuba, I was threatened to, send, to be sent home on two occasions. One for violating the rule because you cannot live off campus if you were awarded scholarship. I was threatened to be sent home. And on the other occasion I was threatened to be sent home, you guys will hear about it in my upcoming book. Right? I will not go into details now, but spoiler alert, it involves a female companion. <laughs> Nevertheless, I graduated without honors because I resided off campus. Despite all my challenges, I can say and I can stand before you right now as a medical doctor to deliver one simple message, but yet very powerful. What's your excuse? What is your excuse? Truth be told, you have absolutely no excuse, zero. Absolutely no excuse. And what the team said? For settling? For average. The lady in Grenville that sells snow ice for years just to put her two children through school one of which I can probably call my colleague as a medical doctor. That lady had no excuse. She did it. The man who rolls 150 roti skins daily just to provide for his family. That man had... Thank you. These are local. I have to, I have to mention them. These are just... A few, just a few. These are local heroes. Local heroes that we are all blessed with in our lives. I ain't talking about Bill Gates. I ain't talking about Jay-Z. I ain't talking about local heroes. Whether they be a family member, mother, daddy, cousin, uncle, a friend or just a stranger on the road just see you walk in I find I want to invest in you we must recognize and we must show them our appreciation and most importantly we must ensure that their sacrifices and their investments in you all are not wasted Therefore, I want you to know, and I want you to remember from here on, this day, I'm talking to you, Granny Wants, you're not graduates as yet. Right? From here on, the person you can invest in and count on is yourselves. They already invested in you already. You have to continue it now and recognize that. You understanding me? Invest in yourself by making you, 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 as the product. You have to make yourself the product that is 
marketable. I'm talking about business here. You, as the product, have to be marketable. Hence, the importance of your name. Your name is biblical as, biblical as well, eh? Let me ask you this. What's your name? Yes, you. Huh? Ezekiel? Boy, Ezekiel. Ezekiel, boy, I just go by Ezekiel from a fish. And anytime Ezekiel handle me the fish, the fish clean, it fillet, and it just have a different, uh, oof, I can't describe it. Every time I sell fish, all the customers tell me, yes, where you get this fish? Go by Ezekiel. What's your name? Yes. Shinaya. Boy, where you get them nails? Shinaya do it for me. Go by Shinaya. She will set you up in it. I did my nails by Shinaya and I got a whole job. Check Shinaya for the nails. Your name speaks volumes. Not just here in Benville, here in St. Andrews, St. George's, regionally, internationally, your name and what you do with your name. Investing in yourself begins when? No. Not when you're in college. Not when you start to work and start to make money. And no. Every part that you take and every decision that you make is leading to an end goal. Therefore, it's important to have a plan. You cannot go about doing something without a plan. It wouldn't work. You would just be going here, there, and everywhere. That's why the inventor of the light bulb said, Thomas Edison, I quote, Good fortune is what happens when opportunity meets plan. So you have a plan to go there, but you probably, you're going there, but you're going there slowly, but in that path, you're getting good fortune. Your name is being propagated. And sometimes you reach that plan and what you envision is even greater than what you had in mind. You get me? So I am 30 years of age and I have already been in the teaching profession and I'm currently now in the medical profession. You think I finish? No. I have plans to be in the culinary arts profession. You guys will hear about that soon enough. Do not waste your precious time. Waste your precious time on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, I don't know the rest. Huh? FaceTime, WhatsApp, Snapchat. I know I, I watch your whole graduation, all the itching boy. To see who message you or to see what video on Instagram I'm missing. You're not missing nothing. Because every time you look at you, Put our two, two, three hours in your time to look at these videos. These people are making money off you. Instead, use that time to acquire skills, knowledge from those platforms. You can use the same platforms, all of these things. And use those skills and knowledge to market yourself and to change other people's lives for good. And remember, above all and beyond, I don't quote the scriptures, I live it. Allow God to be the pillar 
your director, your source of wisdom and unlimited strength, and to place all your trust in him and in your journey. So, I will invite the graduates to stand. And it gives me great pleasure to invite you all to take your task from the right and turn. And you are officially graduates of 2023. I thank you. Thank you, Dr. Niles. We now move into our merit awards. Janessa Charles from the community of Paradise in St. Andrew takes pride in serving others. A career in education, she started as a secondary school teacher in 2004 at the Happy Hill Secondary School. She moved to the Grenville Secondary School in 2006, teaching modern languages. In 2014, she moved from the classroom into education administration to the Grenada National Training Agency as an enterprise-based training officer, as well as the coordinator for standards and planning, a position she moved up into in 2019. Janessa now serves as the president of the Lions Club and is nearing the end of her second year. One of her guiding principles is whatever you're doing, word or deed, do it all for God's glory. We now invite Ms. Janessa Charles to assist us in the distribution of merit awards. Now as you prepare to leave the walls of Grenville Secondary, we call you Mr. and Miss, all right? For excellence in chemistry, Mr. Jude Carman. English A, Mr. Killan Harris. History, so you want the best speech here. Yeah. Yes. All right. Jude? So we're going to get this right. Jude is going to do it again. Thank you. 
English A, Miss Trisha Williams. Social Biology, Ron Klein. <laughs> Mr. Ron Klein. Yeah. Yeah. Theater Arts, Miss Kali Julian. and fashion, Amanda Masail. Miss Amanda Masail. Our senior captain, Mr. Sean Williams. Rashida Bridgman. Athletics and basketball, Mr. Marvin Simon. Integrated science and basketball, Miss Shanique Mitchell. Science in Spanish, Mr. Jason McLeod. <laughs> Office Administration and History, Miss Serafina Clark.
Technical Drawing and Visual Arts, Mr. Jomani Roberts. Building and Furniture Technology and Mathematics, Mr. Shem Buck. Family and Resource Management, Electronic Document Preparation and Management, Mr. Shimar Roberts. Athletics, Volleyball, and Netball, Miss Kanisha Critton. Electricity and Electronics, Information Technology, Mathematics, and Technical Drawing, Mr. Dimitri Pantry. Biology, English A, Food, Nutrition, and Health, Geography, Social Studies, Rihanna Thomas. So, as I'm about to do the next, I want all to tell me count, all right? English A, English B, French, Information Technology, Mathematics, Physics, Principles of Accounts, Principles of Business, Mr. Zai Joseph. Thank you, Mr. Nesta Charles. At this time, we listen to a poem written by Mr. Darrell Bernard, a teacher attached to the social and the science department. Here we go. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay? Yeah. Right. So I must do it. I know we didn't have formal setting, but I know I want it, so I'll give all you. Yeah. Right? So if you're happy to finish form five, say yeah. yeah. Alright. If you're happy to be called graduates, say yeah. yeah. And finally, if you're happy to enter adulthood now, say yeah. yeah. Alright, all the adults in the building, good afternoon. Right, so I have a poem here that I wrote last night, well, this morning. So I don't walk with me, right? I mean, I, I, I don't want to walk with me. I don't want to walk with me. The name of the poem is titled, Welcome to Adulthood. Right, so I want to welcome the students to adulthood. You know that from secondary, that gap from secondary or that transition, that's the place where we more or less prepare for adulthood. So students, I want to take the time to welcome you, to take the opportunity to welcome you to adulthood. So here it goes. Welcome to adulthood. <laughs> Today is a 
day of joy. It's a day to feel real good. Because all these girls and boys are now entering adulthood. Now I remember Zai saying, So, this place is no longer cool. <laughs> and Ashel, will she big more join him? Yes, sir. I can't wait to finish school. Well, finally, this era of your school days is over. No more student teacher drama. Oh, yeah. No more of Miss Peter's boring lecture. And no more of Miss John, aka school police commissioner. The exam team, and then what could we just say done? The exam team, done. The assembly team, done. The uniform team, done. Waking up early morning, done. The grades team, done. Pass or fail team, done. Book report team, done. Man wants his school, all these things, done. Because you are now entering. Uh, you are now becoming adults. And ask them, as adults, we're free. We could do what we want to do. And we could be what we want to be. Eh? Mm. As adults, you will need to keep mommy or daddy links. And Ashel, no self you could have attitude. Because no one cares if your attitude stinks. <laughs> Jaden, you could eat what you want to eat. Tikora, you could drink what you want to drink. Adulthood nice, eh? Yeah. Guys, what all you think? <laughs> now hear me. <laughs> I know all you fed up writing letters. But you'll be dealing with letters still. The only difference is no, the letters come in the farmer's bills. <laughs> I know you think the exam thing done, but life will test you with all its trials. And it's not about pass or fail, it's now about fighting for your survival. You can't say, Mommy, I'm hungry. Uh, daddy, the school fee. Girls, no, you'll be the mommy. And boys, you'll have to provide the school fee. Yeah? Your house is money. All you work with me now. All you work with me just today. Just say money for me. Your house is money. Your clothes is money. Your food is money. My everything is Chicken. Hmm. 
And fellas, don't get tired. Up. Unemployment is a killer. Now, if you're broke and your girlfriend hungry, obviously another man go feed her. And I know you want the nice cars with the loudest speakers and the biggest stickers, rims fat like sneakers, and besides you is a nice, beautiful slimmers. But rethink because gas price hot like fevers. <laughs> I know I don't want to bomb up. Francis, I know you want to chill with the big boys. <laughs> so I welcome you, partner. But let's hope something bad don't make you lose that size. <laughs> Students, the grass isn't always greener on our side. Because there is no grass on our side. So whoever tell you adulthood nice, tell them we say they could lie. Our school days were our best days. And they will always be for me. Adulthood is no better for roses. But come you're coming. You will see. No, I don't want to scare all you. And instill some kind of fear. Because adulthood could be really nice. Sorry. No, I don't want to scare all you. And instill some kind of fright. Now, adulthood can be nice. But you must get some things right. So here is my advice. Remember to put God first. Remember to love yourself. Remember your life is yours. So leave it for no one else. Remember, some days would be bitter. Remember, some days would be sweet. But whenever the time gets sour, students, remember to never quit. Remember, God made you powerful. Remember, you were born as champs. So when adulthood is not so colorful, still remember to give God thanks. Remember that life is priceless. Now listen to that one carefully. Remember that life is priceless and karma is a hell of a thing. Remember you would become your friends. So find the friends that love to win. Now there is much more to say about the good and about the bad. But my, about the bad, sorry. No, no there is much more to say about the bad and about the good. But my purpose here today is to say welcome to adulthood. Now, while you're sitting right there, let me just give an adult pledge. So place your right hand on the side of your chest and repeat after me. We want all the adults here, you all make that pledge. All ready? So, there we go. I do pledge, I do pledge to, be my best self to be my best self as an adult. To work, to work diligently, to drink responsibly, to, drink responsibly. to, drive, safely, to drive safely, and love, and love unconditionally. I pledge also, I pledge also that, I will be that I will be a productive part of society, and never a burden to my family. I pledge, I pledge to obey the laws of God, laws of God. And, to and to respect the laws of the land. Laws of the land. And, finally, I and finally, I pledge that when I succeed, when I, succeed I, will, I, will, I will, I will, I will, listen, I will, I will give back to this institution. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Bernard. At this time, we prepare for the presentation of the Dr. Hillary, Hillary Phillip Academic Award, and this citation 
would be read by Miss Kanisha Hafford, a teacher here at our school. The Dr. Hillary Philip Academic Award. Dr. Hillary Christina Philip joined the Granville Secondary School staff in September 1985, a graduate from Grenoble University, France. During her tenure here, Dr. Philip contributed greatly to the development of Granville Secondary School. Being a linguist, she taught both French and Spanish most diligently. In fact, her devotion to the teaching of French can't her name Bonjour. Today, we can boast of French teachers who sat at Dr. Philip's feet. It is with great pleasure that the Granville Secondary School family has seen it fit to cherish the memory of such a stalwart and has, and has established the Dr. Hillary Christina Philip Award for Academic Excellence. Dr. Hillary Christina Philip, 1955 to 1993. Thank you. Ms. Charmaine Joseph, a second year medical student from the rural village of Telescope, started her educational journey at the St. Andrews Methodist School and later at the Grenville Secondary School. She graduated in 2015 with nine CXC subjects and enrolled at the T.A. Marishal Community College, where she graduated with an associate degree in natural science. She then went on to St. George's University, where she attained a Bachelor of Science degree in biology with honors. Involved in her community, she has been a national youth debater and ambassador. She has completed four terms at the St. George's University School of Medicine and is looking forward to completing the final term and commencing clinical rotations in the US or UK. We invite Ms. Charmaine Joseph to present this award to this year's awardee. <laughs> Ambition is the path to success. Persistence is the vehicle you arrive in. The recipient of this award has molded her life after this quote. During her tenure at Grenville Secondary School, she exhibited characteristics such as determination and perseverance. Though she carries a timid demeanor, her mind is tremendously bold and bursting with intelligence and innovation. She can be described as dependable as she's, she willingly participated in any task required of her. Her perseverance has always been quite remarkable, especially as her grades always remained high. She's a perfect example of an intrinsically motivated student. Her intense drive to succeed was rewarded at the May-June 2022 CXC examinations as she obtained passes in nine CXC subjects. Even now, she continues to let her spirit of determination propel her towards success as she is currently enrolled at TAMCC as a student under the Department of Information Technology. In the future, she hopes to become a computer engineer. She also aims to broaden her abilities as she is currently studying the Chinese language and culture at the same institution. Ladies and gentlemen, this year's awardee for the Dr. Philip, Hillary Philip Award is none other than Miss Alyssa Panchu. <laughs> Alyssa is not here today, but one of her parents is here to collect this award on her behalf. Let's welcome her as she comes. She just came from an exam and she's here today with us. Let's give her a warm welcome, Alyssa Panchu.
We will now do the principal's award. We invite Ms. Roberts to join us on stage. The principal's award goes to a student who always strives for excellence. This person must be devoted, hardworking, enthusiastic, reliable, and dependable. And I believe the recipient of this award embodies these attributes and more. To say this person is extremely willing is an understatement. Throughout the years, the words no and I cannot was rarely ever heard from him, to the point where he often goes the extra mile when his friends, health, and time is against him. He jumps at new opportunities and challenges and always tries his best at everything he does. He is the unofficial tech guy. As every Monday morning, you can bet your bottom dollar that he will be opening the staff room doors at 8 a.m. sharp to carry the electrical equipment and set up for assembly. Let us put our hands together and congratulate the recipients of the Principal's Award for this year, Mr. Jude Carrier. <laughs> that you remain for the distribution of the special award. From the very moment this student entered the walls of GSS, we knew she was special. The definition of disciplined and well-mannered. Never loud, but always active contributing to the life of our school. She was dependable. Whenever we needed someone to lead assembly, escort a guest, or represent us beyond the four walls of this school, she was the woman for the job. Academically, she allowed nothing to get in the way of producing quality work, not even her health. Added to this, she has been a student who kept her word. I can vividly remember at one of our after-class sessions when I broke down in tears out of frustration for their lack of preparation outside of the classroom for the sitting of the 2022 CXE exams. My tears surely pierced them so hard that she was among the students who came back the next day and made me a promise to work hard and make me proud. In this vein, she was recognized by CXE as the top performer in the Caribbean for textiles, clothing, and fashion in the sitting of the 2022 CXE examinations. Join us in congratulating Roshona Henry on her stellar achievement. She really did raise our noses. Roshana Henry. We now move on to the Owen Maguire Sports Award. And to read the citation, we have Ms. Moses. Thank you, Ms. Roberts. Maguire joined the teaching staff of the Grenville Secondary School in 1985. Apart from his academic duties, he was deeply involved in the sports department. An avid sportsman himself, he served as a coach to both football and cricket teams. Mr. Maguire subsequently re re retired sorry, from teaching and passed away in October 2000. In honor of his memory and great contribution to sports, 
Grenville Secondary has instituted the Orrin McGuire Sports Award. This award is given annually at graduation to the most outstanding sports enthusiast of the graduating class. Mr. Kendall Smith grew up at Carrier St. Andrew and attended this school between the years of 1986 to 1991. Kendall grew up playing cricket for the, at the tender age of eight at a nearby playing field. A minute of the day will not pass without a cricket bat in his hand. And so because of this persistence, he was one of the school's opening fast bowlers and the captain of the school's cricket team, the village team, and the team of the Royal Grenada Police Force. During his years at this institution, he was house captain for Rahman's house and took part in track and field events such as javelin, discus, and shot put, and won several gold and silver medals throughout the years. He was a record holder for shot put at the school sports and won gold at the integral games in the same event. Mr. Smith has been serving our country for the last 30 years as a police officer with his present rank acting inspector attached to the criminal records office. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands as I invite on stage Mr. Kendall Smith. A winner is defined as someone who, re who recognizes his God-given talents, work hard to develop the skills, and uses these skills to accomplish his goals. By this definition, the recipient of the Oren Maguire Award is truly a winner. From the first day he entered these walls, he has defied many odds and excelled at many sporting disciplines. This individual encapsulates determination and this star quality led him to shine among his peers in numerous sporting disciplines including football, basketball, volleyball, cricket and athletics. Throughout his tenure, he has earned many awards and medals. He particularly enjoyed playing volleyball and was quite remarkable at it. He joined the school's junior team in 2017 and contributed greatly to the success of the team. He treated the sport with seriousness and his hard work paid off, as he is currently a representative of the Grenada National Volleyball Team and will be traveling to Dominica in 2023. He is also a national volleyball player for the Windward Island Secondary School Games which will be held right here in Grenada this year. He has courageously harnessed his skills and talents and made this institution proud. Ladies and gentlemen, let us put our hands together as we recognize the many achievements of the Sportsman of the Year, the recipient of the Orin Maguire Award, Mr. Francis Dohan. Just to give a little backstory, when we were playing football last year, we were trying to get to the group stage, and them boys wasn't playing as they should. And Francis come, he says, sir, I don't play them, they're not giving the arc. I did, I hot in my hand, my foot hot in me, I'm playing with the injury, and the boys don't play the arc. And I remember the next game, they played the arc, they won, and they were able to progress. So Francis is a true recipient of the Owen Maguire Award. At this time, we will get ready to introduce the person who has led this class from the very first day they started this noble institution up to this day. It is my great pleasure to introduce to you our remarkable valedictorian for 2023 graduation ceremony. This young man has shown from the one that he possessed an exceptional intellect and an insatiable thirst for knowledge. Throughout his time at the Grenville Secondary School, he consistently excelled in every term, showcasing his remarkable academic abilities. While brilliance was undeniable, he was not without a mischievous streak. At times, he could be a bit troublesome, like telling his classmates, yo, Mr. Charles birthday today, tell him happy birthday, even though my birthday had gone a whole six months ago. <laughs> what truly sets this young man apart is his willingness to learn a helping hand. Whether it was assisting his classmates with difficult assignments or volunteering for various school initiatives, 
He was always there, selflessly offering his expertise and support. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, without any further delay, let us put our hands together as I present to you our 2023 valedictorian, Mr. Zai Joseph. Pastor Jamie Gordon, Father Roland Mark, and other ministers of religion, District Education Officer Mr. Peter Rages, and other members of the district team and Ministry of Education officials, Ms. Christine Smith, Paschal Attendance Officer, Mrs. Vashti Stanislaus Williams, Past Principal, Ms. Janelle Rubin, Past Pupil, Featured Speaker for today's exercise. Mrs. Hannah St. Paul, past pupil and at present senior community health nurse with responsibility for the immunization program. Ms. Janesta Charles, coordinator for standards and planning at National Training Agency. Ms. Charmaine Joseph, past pupil and medical student at the St. George's University. Dr. Sevon Niles, past teacher and at present medical practitioner attached to the General Hospital. Mr. Kendall Smith, past pupil and at present acting inspector attached to the Criminal Records Office. Special invitees, parents, staff, students, graduates, and well wishes. Good morning, I mean good afternoon. <laughs> We gather here on this, the 20th day of June 2023, to commemorate our remarkable achievements and bid farewell to, to this significant chapter of our lives. Stand before you as the valedictorian of our exceptional graduating class, I am deeply honored and grateful for the opportunity to address you all on this momentous occasion. I would like to express my heartfelt appreciation to each and every person who has supported us tirelessly throughout this incredible journey. <sighs> wow, we are actually here graduating. Five years at Grenville Secondary School. Let's be honest here, did any of us pick GSS as a first choice for enrollment? Yeah. I'm sure many of us thought that we didn't belong here and that this was a terrible school as everyone else thought, but look at us. The class of 2022. We all thought it would be a long and impossible journey, but we made it. To all our teachers, you have been instrumental in shaping our minds, fostering a love for learning and encouraging us to reach for the stars. Your dedication and passion have inspired us to embrace knowledge explore new horizons, and become the best version of ourselves. We will always cherish these memories. You have taught us not only academic lessons, but also invaluable life lessons that will stay with us forever. Thank you for believing in us, for challenging us, and for equipping us with the tools we need to thrive in this ever-changing world. To my friends, my pillars of strength, my confidants, and my partners in crime. Your presence has brought joy, laughter, and a sense of belonging. Through the ups and downs, we stood together side by side, offering support, understanding, and a shoulder to lean on. Thank you for the countless memories we have created together, for the adventures we have embarked upon, and for the bond we share. You have enriched the GSS experience in ways words cannot express. Seated before you are students who have made this institution proud in the areas of sports, academics, and co-curricular activities. In the sports and discipline, we have netballers like Kenesha Creedland, Carly Julian, Sharissa Collier, Dana Co Dania Coburn, Mia Charles, and Shanique Mitchell. 
whose contributions have taken our netball team to victories. Shanique also played basketball for our school's female team, while Kenesha extended her talents in the field of volleyball and track. Rihanna Thomas also contributed to track and field together with Ashel Charles, who was also a dominant competitor in, the, in that arena. Francis Durham has always been actively involved in sports in the areas of basketball, football, and volleyball. Marvin Simon has contributed in the areas of track and basketball. Keldon Belfon contributed in the areas of football, basketball, and track. Sean Williams was also very instrumental in football as he was a captain and scored competition. Deshaun Lewis also contributed in this sporting discipline. And we cannot forget Tifon Felix, who dominated track in his sub-junior years. Notwithstanding the fact that we have all strived for academic excellence, special recognition must be given to those who have been consistent and diligent in the various subject areas throughout our tenure here at Grenville Secondary School. We are the likes of Dimitri, Rihanna, Sarafina, and yours truly. We were always willing and ready to proudly represent our school in various educational forums and activities. Rihanna also represented us in the annual food and nutrition quiz, where they placed second at a divisional level. Our unwavering pride for our school and commitment for excellence have inspired many of our peers to push themselves to reach their maximum potential. Additionally, our drum corps have been an admirable club for years, so I must recognize Carly Julian, Tara Bob, Simeon Persiu, Nassim Randin, Dinia Coburn, and Keelan Harris for being part of this prestigious squad. To our families, you are our rock, our sanctuary, and our constant source of love. Your unconditional support and belief in us have given us the confidence to pursue our dreams and overcome any obstacle that may come our way. You have been there to celebrate our triumphs, to wipe away our tears, and to provide a comforting embrace when we needed it most. Thank you for your sacrifices, your patience, and your unwavering faith in our abilities. We are forever grateful for the warmth and security you have provided us throughout our lives. Graduates, at this juncture, I want to share with you a profound message. A message that revolves around the theme, don't settle for average, dream with a plan. As we embark on the next phase of our lives, filled with boundless possibilities, let us remember the wise words of Nelson Mandela. It always seems impossible until it's done. So in the face of insurmountable challenges, may we never forget that we have the ability to overcome. We have the ability to break through barriers. We have the ability to achieve what others may deem impossible. In this room, we are a collective force of dreamers and visionaries and future leaders. Each of us carries within us a unique story, a set of dreams and aspirations that have fueled our relentless pursuit of knowledge and personal growth. We have spent years honing our skills, expanding our horizons, and preparing ourselves to make a meaningful impact on the world. Today, we stand at the threshold of a future filled with promises waiting to be embraced. However, let us not be fooled into thinking that dreams alone will propel us forward. Dreams, while captivating and inspiring, are merely the beginning of our journey. They are the seeds from which greatness can bloom, but without a carefully crafted plan, they will remain distant fantasies, forever out of reach. So, to transform the, those dreams into tangible realities, we need a roadmap, a solid plan. It is all too easy to succumb to the gravitational pull of average. It is all too easy to settle for what is comfortable and familiar. Average becomes the norm. 
and our dreams, once vivid and compelling, fade into the background. But my dear friends, average is not what we were destined for. We were born with the ability to dream big, to strive for greatness, and to leave an indelible mark on the world. So I implore you, so I implore you all, do not let the fear of failure or the allure of mediocrity hold you back. Embrace the power of your dreams and pair them with a plan. Set ambitious goals that stretch the boundaries of your, of your capabilities and ignite the fire of passion within you. Break free from the suffocating confines of average and dare to dream beyond what, what may seem impossible. Remember my fellow graduates, success is not a destination. It is an ongoing journey, a continuous evolution of ourselves and our aspirations. True success is not measured by external validation or societal standards. It is a deeply personal experience rooted in the pursuit of our passions and the fulfillment of our purpose. It demands that we push beyond our limits, that we embrace discomfort, and that we de dedicate ourselves to a lifelong journey of learning and growth. With a dream and a meticulously crafted plan, we possess the power to shape our own future. We have within us the capacity to create a life that is not merely average, but extraordinary. A life that surpasses our own expectations and leaves an enduring legacy for generations to come. Fellow classmates, as we step out into the world, let us carry with us the unwavering spirit of ambition, res resilience, and determination. Let us refuse to settle for anything less than what we are truly capable of achieving. Let us dream big, plan meticulously, and take bold action, even in the face of uncertainty. Congratulations, class of 2023. May our dreams fuel our actions. May our plans guide our steps, and may our futures be filled with extraordinary achievements. I thank you. Thank you, Zai. Zai, please remain with us. At this time, we invite Mr. Etienne, our former principal, to the stage to present Zai with a medallion. We now invite the graduating class to serenade us for the last time with a song entitled Our Favorite Song by Drake and Edenfield.
advice So we're here to say goodbye Here for one last time Before we step It's not the end I'll see you again But now it's time to go See you again, but now it's time to go. Goodbye, my friends. It's not the end. I'll see you again, but now it's time to go. To the teachers, parents, and other well-wishers, this ceremony means the recognition of our students' accomplishments. While our graduates also share this notion, graduation to them is a time to celebrate the bonds that have been forged. For the past five or six years, these students have become brothers and sisters. They have laughed, cried, and played together. They have shared food, drinks, and assignments. They have become friends, then enemies, 
then become friends again. William Shakespeare reminds us, a friend is one that knows who we are, understands where we have been, and accepts what you have become, and still gently allows you to grow. Gratitude can transform common days into thanksgiving, turn routine jobs into joy, and change ordinary opportunities into blessings. William Arthur Ward. This year's salutatorian can be described as an assertive, intelligent, and charming young man. Throughout his five-year tenure, we have seen him grow and blossom into a responsible young man. He is committed, quick-witted, and loves a challenge. His voice is always heard in the classroom, asking a question, or more often, challenging the unfortunate teacher who gives an answer that's less than satisfactory. <laughs> his concentration and focus are always razor sharp. That is, when his eyes are not on a certain young lady. <laughs> a truly prudent and well-balanced person, he enjoys a good laugh as much as the video games he will sacrifice four hours of sleep to play. His dedication and curiosity to learn more earned him the well-deserved title of salutatorian. Join me in welcoming Dimitri Panchu. Pastor JD, Jamie Gordon, Father Roland Mark, and other ministries of religion. District Educational Education Officer, Mr. Peter Regis, and other members of the district team and Ministry of Education officials. Ms. Ms. Christine Smith, past, past school attendance officer. Mrs. Vashti Stanislaus Williams, past principal. Ms. Janille Rubin, past pupil, Feature speaker for today's exercise, Mrs. Hannah St. Paul, past pupil and a present senior com community health nurse with responsibility for the immu immunization, immunization program, Ms. Janesta Charles, coordinator for standards on planning at National, National Training Agency, Ms. Charmaine Joseph, past pupil and medical student at and the St. George's University, Dr. Stevon Niles, past teacher and a present medical practitioner, practitioner attached to the General Hospital. <laughs> Mr. Kendall Smith, past pupil and at, and at present acting inspector attached to the Criminal Records Office. Special invitees, parents, staff, student, students, graduates, and well-wishers. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Renowned poet Rumi once said that we should wear gratitude like a cloak, and it will feed every corner of your life. Today, I stand here with this hefty metaphorical cloak of gratitude, honored to have been bestowed with the opportunity to place it around the shoulders of all the stakeholders who have made this day possible for the graduating class of 2023. One cannot begin to express gratitude without first giving adequate thanks to the Almighty Father. Without his guidance, none of us would be here today. We remain grateful to him for guiding our footsteps as we trudge throughout this educational journey. Pastor Jamie Gordon, Thank you for allowing God's Spirit to flow through you and within the walls of this institution. Your opening words of prayer have truly placed a special blessing on today's ceremony. Father Roland Mark, we direct equal thanks to you for closing our ceremony with reverence. As it was in the beginning, so shall it be in the end. We, expect, we extend our gratitude to Ms. Janine Rubin for the woman responsible for delivering such a profound and memorable feature address. I speak on behalf of my classmates that the motivational speech that you have given will be embedded to, 
it will be embedded in our minds as we move forward on this new and exciting journey outside of secondary school. Thank you to Mr. Peter Ridges and Mrs. Hannah St. Paul for taking a detail from the schedules today to assist us to assist us with the distribution of diplomas. Similarly, we, ex we express our sincerest appreciation to Mr. Stevon Niles for conferring graduate status, thus marking the end of one journey, but the beginning of multiple. For our distribution of the merit awards, we recognize Ms. Janesta Charles, who continues to take a vested interest in the development of our school, even after leaving our teaching fraternity to explore new horizons. We are honored to have Ms. Charmaine Joseph and Mr. Kendall Smith here with us. Ms. Charmaine Joseph presented this year's Dr. Hilary Phillip Academic Award, and Mr. Kendall Smith presented the Owen McGuire Sports Award. They are, both, they are both blinded beacons of what we aim to achieve, and we thank them for lighting the trail of success ahead of us. As I make mention of those who have made today possible, it will be remiss of me to not extend my, a heartfelt thank you to the principal, Ms. Denise Roberts, and all the staff members of the Grenfell Secondary School. You have been the driving force responsible for propelling us forward to where we are now. Your incessant words of encouragement, berating when necessary, and unwavering love for us are greatly appreciated, and we will carry your support with us wherever our lives may lead. In similar regard, we tip our hats off to Ms. Neela Fletcher and Mr. Leeshan Charles for doing an excellent job for chairing this year's ceremony. <laughs> to our parents and guardians, thank you. Thank you for dropping us off at these gates five years ago and trusting that we would use this, this time to make the best of ourselves. Thank you for supporting us to give us supporting us enough to give us the strength to stand before you today. Thank you for the countless sacrifices that you, have had, that you have had to make to get us to this milestone. Thank you for choosing us, and we hope we have made you proud. Thank you. And finally, to my comrades who have walked beside me during these last five years, thank you. We have made it. We have traveled within these walls, shoulder to shoulder, constantly encouraging each other to do our best. Though we have had our fair share of disagreements, none of that can erase the love and compassion that, we de that we've developed for each other. As I close today, I remind you of the guiding theme for this year's ceremony. Don't settle for average, dream with a plan. Thank you. Ms. Christian Smith, will you invite to the podium with us? Ms. Smith will now hand Dimitri his medallion. Good afternoon to everyone. Congratulations, graduates. Now here at Granville Secondary School, we like to extend um, thanks to people when they assist us. That's one of our things we're known for. And without further ado, we'll proceed to that.
Father Roland Mark. Let's show our appreciation. Clap your hands. On behalf of the principal, staff, and graduating class of 2023, I present to you this token of appreciation. Miss Janine Rubin. On behalf of the school principal, staff, and graduating class, we extend this heartfelt thank you as a token. <laughs> Miss Janessa Charles. On behalf of the Grenville Secondary School staff and graduating, graduating class of 2023, I thank you for coming out and I give you this token of our appreciation. <laughs> Ms. Shamin Joseph. On behalf of Grenville Secondary School staff, teachers, and the graduating class of 2023, presenting this token. Mr. Kendall Smith. Secondary school, principal staff, and all the graduating students up to the 23. I'd like to say a special thanks and I give you this little gift to say of appreciation. <laughs> On behalf of the graduating class of 2023, the Grenville Secondary School staff and principal, I would like to give you this token of appreciation for taking time of your day to come and officiate for us. <laughs> Mr. Atien.
and thank you for gracing us with your presence today and officiating. Thank you. Our past pupils play very important roles in all our proceedings. And we would like to extend heartfelt thanks to Mrs. Deborah Edwards. I know she's on the live in graduation with us. Mrs. Deborah Edwards, as well as our past pupils out there in New York. We thank you very much for your contribution towards graduation 2023. Our thanks also go to Mrs. Tessa Sincier. She is unable to be here with us today, but she has contributed greatly towards today's proceedings as well. And finally, Miss Ninel Joseph, our parent. I just want to remind you that although Zai is going, we still expect your contributions year after year. We thank you for your contributions to us today's proceedings. We appreciate it a lot, and we look forward to contributions from you. Thank you. We are finally, we are finally at the end of the ceremony. As we close, it is important to solicit a word of prayer from the Almighty God. And to do so, we invite Reverend Roland Mark to pray for us. Please stand. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Gracious and ever living God. This is the day you have made, and today we rejoice, and we are glad in it. Lord, as we offer unto you these graduates, their success, their accomplishments, dear Lord, we just want to thank you for this day, and thank you for these, our children. We pray, O oh God, that as they step out into a world of uncertainty, but in a world of immense opportunity, may you continue to guide them, that they would grow with the fruits of the Spirit. They would continue to grow in love, discipline, and commitment, first to you as their creator, and to the world in which they are called to serve. We thank you, Lord, for the contributions made through their nurturing, their parents, their teachers, the community, their various churches and religious organizations. But Lord, we pray for continued strength as leaders in your community to ensure that we provide guidance, proper role models, standards that are equivalent to your teaching. 
that we as a people, we as your children, would continue to usher these young persons, these graduates, into a world that is filled with failure, success, accomplishment, sadness, joy, but focusing on the things that are necessary by God's grace, they will accomplish in the days, weeks, months, and years ahead. So Lord, we thank you. We thank you for our organizing committee. We thank you, Lord, for their preparations, their hard work, dedication, and sacrifice. And those listening online, dear Lord, we thank you for their presence. We thank you for their contributions. So may this day be one that will be filled with joy, gratitude, but at the same time, the will to continue to fulfill this journey. We ask all these through Christ our Lord. Amen. God bless you all. Thank you. If you are a student or past student in the audience, I ask you to continue standing and join our graduates as they sing their school song for the last time within the walls of this institution. You may be sitting. As we take the curtains down on this morning's graduation ceremony, graduates always remember this. You carry with you the ability to not only accomplish, but excel. Never give up on what you really want to do. The person with big dreams is more powerful than the one with all the facts. Those who dare to dream often have a broader perspective in life and can turn improbable into the possible. Albert Einstein. Class of 2023, we thank you for allowing us to be your mentors, your parents, your confidants, and your headaches. So as you leave the protected walls of GSS, don't be afraid to dream and dream with a plan. We ask that the parents will wish us you remain seated as we acknowledge the Grenville Secondary School class of 2023 as they march out of the auditorium. This will be promptly followed by the exit of our dignitaries and special invitees. Thank you for your cooperation and do enjoy the rest of the evening. From 5G, don't forget our shot.